President Byrne? Here. Trustees Cook? Here. Oppenheim? Takaoka? Here. Brown? Here. Schultz? Here. Marco? Here. We have a quorum present. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Are there any citizens that wish to address the board tonight on anything other? Well, we don't have much committee to hold, do we? We don't have any. Well, we, oh, do. Yeah, we got minutes. We got a couple of minutes. Okay. Any, no, seriously. If somebody wants to address the board, you can. Okay. If not, we'll go to the Queen. Cassie, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, village attorney appointment. No. Well, yeah. you know. Yeah, let's go to the Queen. Is it good thing it's going to take long? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Jim, you got to wait for the queen. Okay. Uh, first, we want to thank our 2018-2019 uh, Vernon Hills Queens. Where's little Miss Vernon Hills 2018? You want to stand? Jayla Wasco. Right? You can come up here if you want. Uh, junior Miss Vernon Hills 2018, Haley Kalinowski. Yeah, I know you from backyard, what, football games or something? Yeah, something like At that. At Chirillo's. Mm -hmm. Where, <laughs> yeah, Mad Madison comes out and she plays the Bears fight song after they score a <laughs> touchdown. Yeah. Oh, it's special, believe me. All right, Miss Vernon Hills 2018, Madeline Gutierrez, or is it Gutierrez? Uh, the first way is fine. Which one? Gutierrez. Okay, like the congressman used to be. Okay, all right. So, what do we have here? We got yeah. We don't have other envelopes other than for these ladies, right? Correct. Okay, Haley, would you like an envelope? Sure. <laughs> okay. You're welcome, Ma Madeline. Would you like an envelope? Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. Is Jayla, would you like an envelope? Okay, we got one more here for Peyton Newman. Yeah. Is there a mother here? Well, well, somebody get it to her. Who, who said that? Cassie. Cassie. Well, here, you want it? Here. Cassie Black. Pageant director, so on and so forth. We'll take this. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, why don't you stand there with him and say something? You know. Okay, who's the oldest out of this group? Okay, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Signs, ca signs cast. Yeah. Well, I, well, that wasn't directed at you. Okay, do you ladies all want to make a statement about how wonderful it was your Lat, your year serving. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Okay, sure. I'll go first. So this year was actually really amazing. All three of us got to represent our wonderful town of Vernon Hills. We went to countless events, and we all represented really well at the Lake County pageant. Um, me personally, I just wanted to really thank you and the board for continuing to support this pageant because I know in the past we've had a trickling down effect of contestants, but now we're really trying to bring it back and. It's going really well. A lot of us are learning about public speaking and how to speak well in front of others and countless other leadership roles. So thank you. Very good. Now, how about Little Miss? You got something to say, please? <laughs> Give her a mic. Okay, that's Should we, fine. Is this okay? That's good. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> why don't you say, tell us your name again? Hi, my name is Jaz Jayla Wasco, and it's been a wonderful year being Little Miss Winning in 2018, and I think one week ago we crowned these lovely girls, and they're going to do a great job by presenting their town. Now, how old are you? Eight. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Um, 
Haley, you're next. <laughs> yeah, basically what these two said, the pageant is a great opportunity for girls to grow, and we had an amazing year, and I know these three girls are going to do amazing representing the community. Okay, now are you still in high school? No, I'm in middle school. I'll be an eighth grader next oh, year. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> All right, pardon me. You've, you've grown. <laughs> yeah. What do you got, like six, eight, six-inch heels on or something? Um, pretty oh, close to that. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good God. Okay. Uh, well, that's good. All right. Well, thank you, ladies, and uh, you did a wonderful job, and I, I'm sure you'll be in the parade on the 4th, right? Of course, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We actually wanted to pass something out to you guys as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you can take those. Okay. Yep, just pass it. You want to start over here? Did you, the mug, you get the picture? <coughs> yeah. Not that you don't know what they look like, right? You want to, you ladies want to come up, please? Chief, I mean, Mark, is there uh, more names in the packet? I mean, these young ladies? Thank you. Are there more names in the packet? Cassie, can you, why don't you come up and, and introduce them? No, we don't need them. Well, that's, that's the other three. That's the other three that are up there now. Thank you very much. Thank you. First and second runners up could introduce themselves to you. Yeah, and and then, yeah. Give you want to give them the handheld mic, please. Oh. Is it is it on? Hopefully. Yeah. Tap the mic, would you please? No, nope. uh, it's oh, not on. There's a switch on the bottom. There's a switch. Wait, I think there's Call a the switch. switch right there. Go ahead, talk into it, honey. Hi, my name is Dahlia Dowood, and I'm first runner up. Little Miss Wren House. And how old are you? Six, no, seven. Okay. My brother's six. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Want to hand the mic to the lady next to you? Hi, I'm Annabella Fisher, and I'm G. Miss Wren Hills first runner up, and I'm 13 years old. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Linnea Gutierrez. I'm G. Miss Wren Hills second runner up, and I'm 12. Very good. Hi, my name is Sachi Cherivala, and I'm nine. And I'm, I'm Little Miss Vernon Hill, second runner-up. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. and, I, and you two are related, I assume. No. No? no? <laughs> so, they're, you're not related to anybody in this room? I'm related to her. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you got to, don't you love each other? <laughs> OK. All right, now we're ready for. Uh, Let's see. Who else? <laughs> Little Miss. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jasmine Wasco, and I'm Little Miss. What's Winning. your last name? Jasmine Wasco. Okay, you're related to her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty quick on the uptake here. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> my name is Jasmine Wasco, and I'm Little Miss Lennon Hills 2019. Very good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Victoria Berta, Junior Miss Vernon Hills 2019. Great. Good evening, I'm Valerie Berta, Miss Vernon Hills 2019. Okay, and how, how old are you? I just turned 16 a couple weeks ago. And you are? 13. Okay. <laughs> and you all admit to being sisters? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's a perk of being in the pageant. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see you all at the parade, right? Well, congratulations to all of you and our past queens. So, thank you. Thank you. Does any, anybody else have a speaking part? I just want to say thank well, you again. Well, come on up here. <laughs> Make a microphone. Thank you again to the Village Board for all, their, all of your support over the years. Thank you. It couldn't be possible without you. Okay, okay. well, we'll keep trying. All right, and thank that. you for your time thank and effort, you. too. Thank you.
Yep. And who, who does the, the tabulations now? Is it an accounting firm? <laughs> uh, no, we're just shy of an accounting firm. <laughs> okay. Well, Larry's not in the room. Maybe next year. Maybe Larry, if he's... Uh... Well, Larry, I don't think would ever do it again. No. Well, he made the radio nationally. Oh. Remember, uh, what was his name? Harvey? What was his name? Uh, the, the announcer. Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey. Yeah, he, he made Paul Harvey many moons ago. And there was, you know, I don't know, somebody got, yeah, it was a clerical error. I'm going, oh, no. but Larry got kind of nervous. And I think some DJ in Chicago called him out and it went nationally. So Larry doesn't do beauty contests. He do no, he's, he had his fill. So, well, thank you for coming tonight. Thanks, You're uh, all beautiful. And I'm sure you're good kids and... Love your parents, right? Yes. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, and your, a lot of your parents are here, right? Yeah. Well, that's good. All right, you want to leave, you can leave now. Because I don't think you want to, unless you want to stay and see what we're going to do next. You don't have to. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. You're, see you Thursday. You're excused. Okay. Well, you don't have to, if your parents are leaving, it, I assume they're driving. Get out before it rains. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And then there was three, huh? Or four. We have four. Okay. Uh, is Next item is the omnibus vote agenda. Oh, we go oh, back no, no, to no. village attorney appointment. Yeah. Well, I always spent two, what, how long? Did, well, I'm not going into the meeting, but we, we spent a good today. couple hours today discussing the meaning of life in Vernon Hills. Okay, I'd like uh, a motion to appoint uh, Jim Ferrello of uh, Klein Thorpe Jenkins as our village attorney. So made. Second. Motion is second. Roll call. President Byrne. Aye. Trustees Oppenheim. Are we going to discuss this at all? Yes, we'll need to get the contract. Yes. Oh, the contract. I'm sorry. Okay. Aye. Takaoka. Aye. Brown. Aye. Schultz. Aye. Marquardt. Aye. Cook. Aye. Motion carries. Welcome to the village, even though you live here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, got <laughs> Thank you for the confidence you've shown in us in making this appointment. I'm uh, personally very proud to serve as village attorney in a town I've lived in and raised my family the last 18 years. Look forward to being a member of the team. Thank you. Yeah. Thank well, you. you're more than welcome. Mr. President, yes. before we move to the omnibus agenda, I've got uh, just uh, one or two very quick announcements regarding the fireworks and the parade. Yeah. Obviously, Thursday, uh, the parade is at 9 o'clock in the morning, kicks off at 9. Due to the weather conditions that we've had here, uh, things can be a little bit challenging. So we have a contingency plan in place in case things don't go well. <laughs> Right now, the National Weather Service is calling for possible showers and thunderstorms between 7 and 9 a.m., which might preclude us from getting the parade off on time or having it at all. Um, currently, we've met with uh, the police department and with the fire department to work out the emergency plan. Our event is registered with the National Weather Service. So if there is a thunderstorm that's imminent or threatening weather that takes place prior to uh, the parade, it may need to be canceled. If we do that, we have the reverse 911 calls ready to go. We have signs posted and we will be posting it on our website yeah. and on Facebook, on social media. So if the weather looks threatening and you have a question about whether the parade is going to be uh, going on or canceled, <clears throat> please check the, um, either our Facebook page or our website. Now, the same thing is kind of true of the uh, fireworks display in the evening. It's right. scheduled to go off at 9.15. Right. They're also calling for thunderstorms later in the afternoon up until about uh, 6 o'clock in the, in the evening. Hey, 
fireworks needs to be after 930. We've tried that at 915. It's still too bright out. Well, I well, think not, if it's <laughs> not if it's overcast. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, so again, it, that, it, it, that event is also registered with the National Weather Service. So again, if there is a, a, a storm imminent, we're ready to take the appropriate precautions. Um, the only problem is, is once the tubes, the mortars are loaded, they cannot be unloaded. So they set up in the afternoon. So even though they can keep them covered, they will have to shoot them off, uh, rain or shine, as long as it's not a torrential downpour. But they, they we can, can't be held off till the they can't be held off till the next day. So we can, we can adjust the time of the fireworks. So if it looks like we're gonna hit, get rain at 9.45, we may move it ahead a little bit. Yeah. If it's, uh, you know, if, it, if it's raining at nine o'clock and stops, maybe we can move it off to 9.45 or 10 o'clock. But that's gonna be one of those decisions that's made on a fly. Again, we have the reverse 911 calls ready to go and everything um, uh, is taking place uh, on social media. Yeah. Also, should we have the parade ongoing and a storm like this rolls in, as these seem to be rolling it out of nowhere, we have made plans for emergency shelter. Actually, the fire department has for a vacant <coughs> building on Atrium Drive. When they have the keys and it's large enough to take care of most of the parade goers. Um, those people that live close to home, I'm sure, will flee to their own homes. But we'll do everything we can to make sure that this is fun and safe. And we'll put it this on YouTube, too. Uh, we'll yes. That we don't have your Correct. Which is, you know, and, yeah. Huh? On YouTube or on the website, you mean? Oh, oh YouTube. Well, it's on YouTube, which, yeah. which is linked to our website. Oh, you mean this well, meeting is on YouTube. Yeah. But the, no, no, the, even, you mean the actual, even that warning, because we don't have everybody's phone number. But I don't think you mean YouTube. That's not. Yeah. What? You're on Twitter? I don't care. We're on Twitter too, Facebook. Yeah. I don't care. Um, yeah, we'll do everything we'll we can. Put we it don't at all. But YouTube yeah. carries us. We don't have a. Well, YouTube, you have to create your own video and then upload it, and yeah, people have to link live. to it. Right. That's not really possible. Okay. We can do Facebook live. Well, tweet, yeah, yeah we'll do Facebook. We've, we've got that all set up. Yeah. We have okay. people in place ready we got, to. We got sirens to talk to you. Right? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. So we'll do everything we can. Let's just do a YouTube video. Okay. Just in case. You want to stop by? Yeah, I'll come by. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we want to talk about the contract? Or do you want to do omnibus? Yes. Uh, you're going to do the omnibus, but I would ask that item E be pulled for discussion uh, in a separate yeah. vote. Yeah. Okay. Does everybody concur with this? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Is there a uh, motion to approve A, B, C, D, E? No. Or no, no. No, F, no, no. F. F and G, G. full E. Okay. Correct. All right. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Second. Roll call. President Byrne. Aye. Trustees Takaoka. Aye. Brown. Aye. Schultz. Aye. Marquardt. Aye. Cook. Aye. Oppenheim. Aye. Motion carried. Okay. Next is the the, the letter base. Well, two, uh, 2019-109, an ordinance to authorize the execution of a letter of engagement with <coughs> Klein, Thorpe, and Jenkins to serve as corporate counsel for the village of Vernon Hills. Mark. Thank you. Um, when, the, when the original letter of agreement was uh, drafted and submitted, um, a copy, as you requested, was sent to uh, the previous village attorney, Keith Hunt, for review. His review did not come back <coughs> until, I think it was Friday morning, after the board meeting minutes had already been posted. Right. So, uh, so there are a couple changes in this agreement that are not reflected on the copy that you saw. And essentially what you see is everything um, highlighted in yellow was a change that was requested. Most of them are, are rather inconsequential, but I did want to call your attention to um, page three, item D, which is special project work. And this is reimbursable. This would be for anything that, um, such as the, the, re the mall redevelopment or TIF work, anything like that, where our village attorney's time is used and can be billed back to a third party. Uh, the original request was 275 per hour, and Keith had recommended that that be moved up to $325 per hour. 
So that's the only change, the substantial change made to this, but I felt it was enough that I should call your attention to it. Um, is Kleinthorpe willing to stay with their original number? We are. I, I think uh, the reason the change was requested was for consistency purposes. I think uh, uh, what uh, Attorney Hunt was billing to developers was the 325, which is not an unreasonable amount when it's being reimbursed by a third party, private party that's paying the bill. It's, uh, and, and I believe he did that for consistency. We would, we would go with the original proposal. This is really a net, it's not a net cost to the village. This would be reimbursed by a third party developer. If wow. the village is paying our fees, uh, you go flip to page two, that's the $210 per hour. But once it's re reimbursed by a third party, uh, it's, it's been raised to 325, but we're open to the original proposal as well. All right, with that clarification, I guess, uh, I in the so statement within the, the letter here that it is uh, third party, I guess the only thing is I look for maybe more clarity as only third party actions. But if there's general agreement amongst us that it's only in the case of a third party situation, then I'm fine with that change. The other, the if any's, I, I guess in each of these cases, we have other firms kind of doing some of these things, uh, the prosecution services, we have uh, other firms doing that <coughs> for us at the uh, circuit court and uh, traffic court levels, but we've never really outlined anything. The collective bargaining, uh, well, we have Storino and Durkin, and from my position, I'm extremely satisfied with the work they've done. That's been outstandingly exemplary in the fact that we've gotten to a point now where we hardly engage them at all in any of our collective bargaining negotiations. I, I kind of not understanding the if any's here because we've had that. In the, in the past without any specificity on um, not being part of or being part of our general village attorney agreement just in case there's a need for the village attorney's firm which is now a very very substantial size firm to jump in if any circumstance arose that would require that so, so what's your point <laughs> my point is why why oh, no, what's your any? point what's your point my, my point is why are these okay well they're stipulated i think because of some conversations we had in that room jermaine i would think the key going forward even though he's budgeted for this year well you know so the, the, jim, jim why don't you say what you mean the stipulations were you that know. when the occasion arose that we would engage him for possible litigation, but I don't think it was a given. It was that he would be the, the first choice for litigation. Um, okay. Well, it could be done without the if any in the Yeah, yeah I, I mean, we've been doing that. Keith, Keith has worked for this village for over 15 10 years. years. Oh, so 15 years. Well, he reminded of us that in the meeting that yeah. one night. All right. so, so is your point to exclude item H, for example, or prosecution services and the litigation services or whatever is that? Or is it just the, like B, or is it just the term if any? Yeah, it's the if any. Mine is just the well, if any. I mean, it, these are to me, all if, isn't if any assumed anyway? It, yeah. I, I yeah. Mean, it seems super, superfluous to me. Well, I mean, sure. it could be. So I'd like well, to I don't. Did, may I ask, Jim, did you add that if any? No, no, that, that came from Attorney Hunt. But, but I, I wanted to have scheduled uh, all of the services we can provide right. and yeah. provide you with a list of fees we charge for each of those services. Sure. But if, if a piece of litigation comes down the line where you decide you want a different firm to handle that, you could always make that decision. Right. I just wanted you to have our schedule of fees for the different services we provide. We do provide uh, uh, the, the vast ar array of services that a municipality would need, but I put it in there so you have the option. Right. Uh, the, the change, which very frankly doesn't bother me, uh, because if you want to hire me 
uh, for collective bargaining or for uh, litigation, you could always do that. This this oh, just gives you my preclude on uh -huh. hiring you. No, no, it does not. It no. does not. It simply right. says. If, 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 see, any, that's why I think. Any. But see, the if, thing is, is that that to me that wording is totally irrelevant it's, because that phrase is actually kind of understood right. after every item listed in here. Well, I guess it could be and or that they're handling every collective bargaining burden, but when you put if any, it kind of gives it a if, if any word. Yeah, I don't think there's intention here to, to you know, get rid of Sestorino and no. Durkin. Yeah. I don't think there's yeah. any intentions of getting rid of Hale Weiner. Right, that's what yeah, I think. Yeah, I guess that, not. yeah, that's... Yeah. I agree with Carrie. Maybe that's the point: is that maybe we would choose not to use yeah. Yeah. this firm, and if any, but it's it's unclear. So, you think a legal document would be clearer than that? And, and if you but look as at a, we could put an asterisk saying if uh, the village village retains the the right to to select another firm for these specific purposes. Mm -hmm. Well, if you look at item three at the heading at the top of page uh, two, it, it says all other work. So not included in the retainer. Oh, non-retainer. So it's non-retainer work. So this is, as, as Jim was saying, this is just a list of all the services they provide and the costs. And it's consistent with what they submitted as a proposal a year ago. Right. So I guess then why, why does litigation. annexations not have an if any, but litigation has an if any? That's what's confusing uh, yeah, we, again it's not something I decided to include yeah. it was not included in the original proposal yeah uh, sure. I, again you you know typical village attorney work we can do as much or as little as is re sure. requested uh, you know I'll attend meetings I'll prepare your legislation our firm has again we interviewed with you all the various services that a, a, a municipality would need we do extensive litigation we do um, all kinds of work here, but uh, the if any was put in, I, I, I think, to um, emphasize that that may be a service. Those services may be services you go out and use other firms for. Right. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't use my firm for that kind of work. I think that's why it was. It doesn't added. mean we're. Doesn't mean we can't. Also, it doesn't mean we're obligated to use it, your it firm. It does not mean you're obligated. No. Right. No. Well, we're not sure. Other than what's Correct. under, we're not, we're, we're not other than what's under the retainer already. Even the ones already. that don't say, if any, the ones that don't say that, right. we're not obligated to. No, no, you're not. To, right. you're yeah. not. It, it just, I yeah, mean, village attorney work is. That doesn't make sense. Pretty, uh, you, you know what your village attorney does for you. You've known right. that for years and years. I'm, I'm not going to change that. To the extent we have more capability in terms of litigation than other firms you may have had, yeah. you can use us for that. Uh, but right. you, you certainly don't. You don't have to. You have a list of our fees. You, you've seen our proposal, you know the vast array of services we provide, and you can use all or any of them. You know, it's... it's so uh, these fees are, are their confusing. fees. We can use it as the benchmark right. if we go outside. So if we go to XYZ Law Firm, it's like, oh, guess what? This is what we're going to pay you, 250 an hour. So we're fine. It's non-retained. It's, it's self-explanatory. Right. It's just, right. I, I Not included well, in retainer. Well, that will language. change, too, if... If the Wait. if a matter goes to trial, if and and the attorneys start traveling in twos and threes, this is a help standard me, level. Help, help me with that one, Jim. Pardon, what's the question? Well, if, if a case were to go to trial, yes, you, you all of a sudden there's more legal work that has to be done. Correct? Yes, sir. And then you guys start traveling in twos and threes. Lawyers. Well, at times, there are other lawyers. You need other lawyers well, to assist. You know, like, yes. come on, humor me, would you? Humor him. Sure. You, you, well, you, you have more than one lawyer on Wait, wait, wait. What's your point? My sure. point is it could cost you a lot more than 225 we, bucks an hour. Right. right. But what's that got to do Depending on who's okay. involved. But, but okay. what's the point? I'm just bringing it up. I oh, guess. okay. You know, can I, it could be anybody, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, I, yeah. can I get back to the question of the reimbursables? Yes. Uh, amounts. Is is there any chance that that uh, a development firm would would say we're doing this development, but we will only pay two fifty an hour because that's what we pay, um, and 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 the village would be stuck with the difference because no, we have no. A we, this would be only when it's reimbursed by another party. We've we've never run into issues in terms of the fee, but if 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 there was a negotiation, we would 
we would negotiate it, and we, you would not get stuck with the difference. Well, since you did seven TIFs, right, for wheeling, did a number. Did you collect any fees? We did collect fees. And did you collect them at what hourly rate? Uh, a rate similar to this. Three twenty-five. Uh, probably a little less, but but not far off. Right. Okay. Yep. Not far off. And, and, and Trustee Oppenheim, this engagement letter is our standard engagement letter that's been used and approved by many, many municipalities without any issues right. in terms right. of... Right, but except for that amount, though. Uh, it's a little higher. Right. That's correct. He didn't... That wasn't his submitted yeah. amount. That was... Right. No, I get well, that. Well, here... I just want to make sure but that... But you know who we're, we're getting this money back from? It's our oh, money. That's, that, that it's was our the, money. I don't think anybody so, had a question about oh, that. Oh, no, that was, I'm just... What did, if we charge 325? No, but we were... We charge 325. Yeah, and, and, Trustee Schultz was fine with that. He yeah, was, he know, was, right. he was bringing up that, our money. Mayor, Mayor, that Trustee Schultz was bringing up a different issue, and that was the superfluous use of, if any, okay. in, in okay. just different spots where okay. it seems to be unnecessary. No, no, but I, I jump back to this. Yeah. yeah. We were no, I just want to make sure well, that we wouldn't get I, we wouldn't get stuck with the difference. Well, you know what's good is that you know Jim it doesn't have any compunction about collecting those fees, right? I do not. Right, that's very good. That's absolutely and, and, very and good. And in all honesty, Keith was the first guy to ever do that and is still doing it, mm -hmm. which is it's our money. I don't care if we take back two hundred grand from you know uh, Regency, you know. I mean, if there was that much in fees, yeah. it, it's our money. We gained 20, over 20 million bucks. Come on. As long as we don't right? have to spend 280,000. You even voted for it, your, I think, your first night. <laughs> Craig. Me? Craig. Oh, Craig. <laughs> Not you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Any other? Well, okay, so we're going to tighten this up now a little bit or whatever. Well, I, I just. Or can I, I just, sign it? I just make a motion to strike if any. Where it's strike it's all the if any's here. which are superfluous anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the, yeah. the dollar figure is fine. Right. Right. Okay, I, is there a second? Second. Do we need to vote on this? Okay, roll call. President Byrne. No. Trustees Brown. Aye. Schultz. Aye. Marquardt. No. Cook. Aye. Oppenheim. Aye. Taka Opal. Aye. Motion carried. Okay. Now I could sign this. What? The next? You want me to sign it the next day the next, or so? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll have it retyped, prepared, and get it re-signed, along with the meeting. with the resolution. Yeah, with the resolution. As a of the ordinance. Uh, well, it's coming back to us. Isn't it? That's what we just did. Yeah. No, you just approved it, so the the corrected version will come back okay. to you for your signature. Okay. It yeah, won't have. It won't come approved. before the board. No, yeah. yeah. As, as I mean, manager. if you want to yeah. share with everybody, I'll sign it. You know, before the next meeting, because the next meeting's two weeks, right? Right. I can. Uh, I can go make those changes now. You don't have to do it tonight. Okay. <laughs> Work on your words. Okay. Okay. All right. Dan, anything else uh, to come before the board? Unfinished business, new business. We kind of covered the 4th of July pretty well. Is there a motion to adjourn? So made. Motion to second. Those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 The ayes have it. Because there were no names. All right. Thank you. Committee hope. Oh, oh, yeah. Christ, the minutes. That's right. All right. Uh, first item is approval of the special committee to hold meeting. Excuse me, Mr. President. You don't need to do that. We're, we're going to cancel that and pull it and put it on the next agenda. Otherwise, as I was reminded, we get into a loop of approving, of having a committee of a whole to approve the minutes that approves the minutes of a previous meeting that approves. It, it, it gets into a never-ending loop. So we'll just have this on the next agenda so there's no committee of the whole. Does everybody concur on that? I, I don't understand. You know what he Damn. said? Got, no. <laughs> Explain now. You get the opportunity. Just approve minutes, and then so you just get yeah, we into have to approve those minutes. Oh, yeah, that I see. Yeah. It's much cleaner to take yes. the minutes and put it on a new new committee. Was, of the whole. was that? <laughs> yes, exactly. It's an echo. Got it. 
Got it. <coughs> Lynn, was that your okay. suggestion? It was. Oh, God bless you. Excellent <laughs> suggestion. All right. All right. There, so. Well, we got time to kill because it it's still raining out. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Good night. And, you know, check the Have a village website. Tomorrow. Better put this uh, show on the TV in a hurry. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dave. This air is cycling. It, it, it ain't.